I'm not sure what to tell you, Cindy Lou, but here's what I see. What I see is a bastard husband of yours who barely produces a living. All I've ever heard you talk about is how he's complaining about every job he's ever had. He was an insurance agent, didn't want to do that, gave up on that. Then he's a teacher, doesn't want to do that anymore, going to give up on that. He's been a coach, great, marvelous, wonderful. He coached your little brother's son in baseball, giving that child a chance to play with other kids, to have some team experience, marvelous. The kid was happy most of the time, not at all. He had struggles with his language, but people came alongside him and helped him to produce an incredible ability for the language. You didn't do that. All you did was supported your little brother up until the point that you decided to attack his life. When you took his prescription, you violated federal law. If your mother did that and you covered it all, then you still violated federal law. At no time did your mother have the right to be opening cabinets, getting into his things, and stealing things at all. If you did that, you are facing federal law. You see, you can't hold in what you've done because you try to forget the things you've done to harm your little brother. You lie, steal, and cheat him out of his property rights. You gave property that belongs to him to your friend Verna. Is that right? And Verna is someone who's a caretaker to your mother and reminds your mother of her. Yeah, because she's an alcoholic like your mother was. You're allowing an alcoholic person to drive your mother around to listen to medical situations that you won't even allow your little brother to hear about. Who the hell do you think you are? As your friend, as your pastor, as your minister, as whatever you think I am, I'm telling you, I might have sworn in front of you and said the word shit so that you thought I was pretty cool, but here's the real deal. You're violating your brother's full rights of his life. My recommendation to you is to step out of this, put everything back, return to him his dignities that you didn't take from him. You stole from him. Bottom line is, in front of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you stole a medical prescription from your brother. Or you know who did. It went missing when you and your mother were there. So let's be clear. He knows you did this. You destroyed his whole fucking medical life. And you have ruined him because he's now had a heart attack and three strokes because you thought you'd just play medical doctor with your mother who thinks she's the medical practitioner of the world. Now your mother is on her deathbed and you can't even fucking show up to provide him the dignity of the right to see his mother. And you fucking lie about where she is and she could be dead by now and he wouldn't know it. But I can guarantee you this, what you're doing in front of Jesus Christ is immoral. Not to mention what you're doing under federal law is illegal. At no time did you have the right to collect inheritance before it's time. And if you saved all your inheritance checks that you got early from your father to purchase that farm, marvelous. If your husband and you decided to scrimp and save and made all your food with eggs that you've been hosting with keeping a barn yard full of animals instead of feeding your brother, great. But what do you think Jesus Christ thinks of you today? You've chosen to feed chicken, hens, cats, dogs, sheep for a, a llama, probably a horse, over your own little brother. I'm just wondering what Christ would say today.